Hey everyone, this is um, just a quick orientation video for the course for chemistry. Um, and this is for specifically on this page, chemistry honors, but I'm going to use the same video for chemistry honors and chemistry because the information is the same um, in terms of like what to click on where, where you can go through to do things, that kind of stuff. So you're either in chemistry or chemistry honors. I'm very excited to have you. My name is Miss Mooney and I am your instructor. This is my 10th year teaching chemistry and I love it. It's my favorite course to teach, uh, chemistry and AP. Those are my, my jams. So I love those. I graduated from UNC Greensboro in 2013 with a degree in biochemistry. And then I just recently, like this summer, finished my master's degree in chemistry from UNC Wilmington. So I do officially have my master's in chem. Um, I love this content so much. So I really want to make sure that you guys like it and you're successful in here. You want to learn. You want to, you know, try new things. So please make sure you always contact me if you have questions, concerns, you want to work with me. Um. And kind of go through some things there so just kind of be prepared for that also i should add in um i will not have office hour like office hours i will not have any after school tutorials um because as you'll get to know i have two children um one of them is on the way and um so i'm just not able to to share that time after school so just kind of be prepared for that if we work we've got to work during school hours together so chemistry in and of itself, a little bit about the content of the course, is a high school science course. This is one of your three requirements needed for graduation. You know, you have to take an earth and environmental, you have to take a biology, and then one of the physical sciences, whether that be physical science, chemistry, or physics. Um, and each of those individually cover foundational information for the science field. A lot of times biology is a prerequisite for this course, and this is a course that is a prerequisite for higher level chemistry courses. So if you go on to take an AP course, um, you probably need to take this before you take like an online chemistry course or uh, like a CCP college course, anything like that. So this is an 18 week long, it's a semester long course, consists of eight content units. So we only have eight a benchmark exam, and then also one cumulative exam at the end. This is not a state uh, exam anymore, so it will be um, either teacher-made or like county-made, so just kind of be prepared for that. And this course is going to have both in-person and um, online material that you'll be using, so please make sure every day your first requirement is to come to class prepared. That means having a charged computer, and that means having paper, pencils, pens, whatever you need, because you will be working with both each day. Uh, by the end of this course, I really hope that you, you know, are confident in what you've learned. You're able to express what you learned in a way that um, shows understanding and application to help you move on to higher level chemistry courses. So when we look at this course, it is a mastery graded course which means you can have multiple attempts on certain assignments to achieve mastery learning. For me, that is 80% or greater. So you need to make sure um, that when you redo these assignments, you know they're not the exact same thing. And not all assignments are going to be mastery graded in you get more attempts. You actually will have to do like tests a different way, projects a different way, things like that. This is also work at your own pace within each module, which means you'll know kind of like when the test is expected for the end of the module, and then you can work at your pace within that module to get that done. So for instance, if it, the module is two weeks, you start on a Monday and then two weeks that following Friday is your um, test day, you can work on any lesson you need to within that window. So like by day two, you may be on lesson four or five, or by day seven, you may be on lesson three. Who knows? It's all to help you 
spend as much time as you need to understand the content, okay? So um, as long as those assignments are done before test day or like by test day, they will be counted on time, okay? So you won't get a late grade if like we cover 1.1 on a Monday, but you don't actually master it until Wednesday, you will not get a late grade for that because it's still within your module window. Okay, so just make sure you're aware of that. But if you get kind of lazy and then you don't actually finish all of the assignments to mastery before the test day, that's when you will start to accrue late grades. Um, I will have a suggested course schedule kind of at the end of this um, on Canvas. Uh, so you can look at that. Uh, I might have a paper for you to see. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to give it to you yet. because Sometimes it's overwhelming to see an entire semester at one time. So there's my little Bitmoji contact information. This video will actually be posted on um, this page, so you can always go back and look at it later if you need to. And now let's go over your tabs that are really important, which are over here on the left, these blue tabs. So the first one is your home button. This is where your, your landing page for anytime you get on Canvas for this course, you will fall on this page. Uh, you know where you can go to look at anything on your syllabus. Since I've got quick links to the syllabus at the bottom, I don't have that as a tab on here anymore. You'll also have announcements, so you'll see that. Anytime I need to contact the entire class pretty quickly, I will use announcements. And the reason being is I know you'll check those before you'll check, because uh, you'll see the little alert, but you'll see that before you get an email, right? So we'll go to announcements there. The most important tab for this course is the modules tab. So you'll spend a lot of time on here. I'm going to have a separate video on how to use your modules, how to understand your modules, um, why they look the way that they do. So please make sure you um, have those. I'm going to have at least the first quarter uh, published and accessible for you. Um, but if you think that that will overwhelm you, you can go up to the top of each module and you, and I'll show you how to do this and you can kind of close them out so you don't see all the work that goes into them um, until you're ready to move on to that module. Okay. And if this video is kind of scratchy, I'm sorry, I'm sitting on like my laptop's on a blanket. So sometimes it makes kind of scratchy noises if I move. Um, but modules is going to be the biggest place for you to spend your time. You will have a couple discussions. Your first activity for the course is actually going to be a discussion post. So um, just kind of look for those. You'll see them within a module if you need to participate in the discussion. So just kind of look for those. And then your grades tab is also important. These two in the middle here um, are important, but I need to kind of explain those more in person so I'm not going to waste time on this video talking about those but grades will be good because you can see like what assignments you've gotten mastery on what assignments you need to go back and do again what assignments you need to probably do for the first time because you haven't done them yet those kind of things so just kind of be uh, mindful of that when you use the grades tab here you'll be able to see a link to the full syllabus so you can download a copy of the full syllabus. I will also have a paper brochure, like little cheat sheet of the syllabus available for you. And then if there are any specific sections that you care about, you can click on these individual buttons and it will take the chunk of the syllabus and post it there. So if you want to look at just course requirements and grading and not the rest of the syllabus, you can click on this button and it will take you to that page. Um, I will also have uh, videos on each of those pages going over that information as well. So just for an example, if I were to click on that, it would take you to the grading, like course requirements and grading for the course. Okay, So you can see that instead of having to look through the whole syllabus, you can, hopefully you can still hear me, you can look through just those individual pieces. And then the last part here, sorry, it cut me off uh, in terms of like seeing me. Let me see if I can fix that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I didn't fix it, but that's fine. I was just making sure it's still recording. So down here at the bottom, you can see once you've looked through these parts of the syllabus, go ahead and kind of look over the whole thing. Make sure you feel familiar with it. 
um, explore these tabs if you want to, that's fine as well. But once you've done that, you need to go to the modules tab. So you'll click on this modules button here and you need to look over the how to videos in module zero. So there will be some that are not going to be useful for you because you've done online courses, you know how to, you know, navigate an assignment, you know how to do these little things here or there. So you can skip those. But there are some that are really useful, like how to turn in a digital interactive notebook, how to turn in a virtual lab. You need to know how to do that. So those videos are in module zero and I would expect you to look through those. Um, they will be published for the entire semester. So you can always go back and watch them later if you have to turn something in and forget. And if you hear my dog breathing, sorry, she just wants some attention now. Um, you'll also see in module 